So I wanted to give you guys a hydroponic update. Uh, a few weeks ago I decided to pull out a mini pepper from the backyard and uh, put it in a hydroponic uh, homemade uh, uh, setup here the, using the cracky method. And um, a few days after I posted it, Kangstar replied that I probably needed to make sure the sol solution was a few inches below the roots or it could be drowning. Well, lesson learned. It died. And a couple of things went wrong. Pulling it out of the ground, destroying half the root system, and then drowning the roots didn't uh, do too well. So my first attempt at... Uh, using hydroponic setup uh, because of my um, inexperience proved fatal for the sweet pepper plant. Probably a combination of drowning the roots and pulling it out and trying to uh, acclimate it to this uh, setup. The good news is I decided to give it another shot. So what I did was I uh, had some uh, tomato seedlings and when they were about 10 days old, I put one in soil using the two cut method and one into another solution hydroponic setup you can see it's doing pretty good and the results pretty much speak for themselves they were the exact same size when i put them into their new homes and as you can clearly see the uh, hydroponic setup is much bigger than the one in soil so initially my um, thoughts are the hydroponic solution is more productive in the beginning than soil is. Now the solution is really just the uh, miracle Grow singles along with some Epsom salt and a little bit of hydrogen peroxide just to keep the uh, bacteria level down. So obviously the purpose of a fruit bearing plant is to have it produce fruit. So shortly here, I'm gonna end up putting this outside in the garden continue this one in hydroponic solution, changing it out every two weeks, the solution, and we will see if it produces the same amount of tomatoes, less tomatoes, or no tomatoes than the soil grown setup. Anyway, wanted to give you an update. Lesson learned. Promising uh, results so far. Thanks for watching, everyone.